Hey there, boys and girls. Uh, today I want to be talking about Super Trust Masteries. We're getting the 100% Moogle here soon from the anniversary. We're getting, uh, we have a bundle for sale right now for two 50% Super Trust Mastery Moogles. Um, and I get asked a lot, you know, hey, what, what, what should I get with all this stuff? So I figured I'd make a video to kind of cover the way I'm going to do it. And if this helps you out, that's great too. <clears throat> I would like to also point out at the start of the video that you do not need Super Trust Masters to beat fights. All the bosses in the game can be beaten without using any Super Trust Masters whatsoever. Um, what they do um, is they allow you to go through uh, phases quicker. Maybe you can skip some thresholds from a boss, avoid some really nasty attacks, or like say you want to run like one tank. A Super Trust Mastery tank will let you maybe drop a secondary tank um, and take all the damage himself, uh, whereas, you know, otherwise you'd have to be using two tanks. Um, and uh, speaking of tanks, that's kind of where I want to go with this. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's fun to do a lot of damage. I, li I like doing tons of damage too, but I feel like if you're talking about using Moogles, uh, as for what you should get, you should be looking at your front line. You need to be looking at your Provoke tank and your Magic tank. Um... I've got a couple builds in the builder we're going to talk about in a second, but I want to go over a few a few items and materia that I feel like is really good. The first one is Nyx's dagger. I mean, everybody knows I love Nyx. I've killed that dude I don't know how many times, but the guy has a really awesome super trust mastery. It's basically an upgrade over the Ulrich Kukri. It's got defense, it's got 20% hit points, and it's got 20% to all resist. That's, that's really handy. Um, again, Ulrich's Kukri works just fine. Um, this is just a really, a really, really good up upgrade over that. Secondly, we got Judge's Oath. This is Argobath Super Trust Mastery. It gives you 30% hit points, defense, and spirit, and all resistances by 20%. Again, that's really great. Uh, the Judge's Oath can definitely go on your Provoke Tank or your Magic Tank. Um, like, say, your single tank in Ultros. Judge's Oath would be a really good material to have right there because it gives you lots of resistance coverages and it gives you the hit points and defense that you're going to need. Now, this one right here, Renoa's Super Trust Mastery, I feel like is probably the best Super Trust Mastery in the game. Um, again, these are all just my opinions. If you disagree and you think this is fine, that's, that's great too. This is just my opinion. Renoa's Super Trust Mastery gives you 60% resist to fire, ice, lightning, and wind. So it's not all resistances, but it's resistances to elements that we encounter quite often. And it gives you 100% resistance to status elements. The charm resist isn't as big of a deal anymore because the bosses kind of move away from charm. Stop is still a thing, but charm kind of falls by the wayside quite a bit. Anyways, uh, here we got some builds that I kind of made up. Um, again, this isn't like gear your units like this and you'll beat everything. This is kind of like whenever I start thinking about like how am I going to do a trial, I have some default builds that I kind of refer to and then I adjust them based off what the uh, the bosses are going to be doing to me and what kind of effects I have to put up with. Um, as you can see, Siegheart without um, really any, any focus to resistances can get a really nice hit point and defense build here. Um, Sledgehammer's free, Moogle plushy. Uh, I always gear my guys with 100% passive provoke. Um, it's just very turn efficient. And Phoenix Trust Mastery there gives us our status immunity. Then I got the impenetrable pen uh, pendant for uh, mitigation. And then just some patriotic recalls for uh, defense and hit points. Obviously, you could, you could mix this up and get different uh, values for whatever you're trying to deal with. Again, this is like a, just a default. Um, this would be how I would build Charlotte if I was like, I have no idea what this trial does. I want to go in here and see what's going on. Um, I'm almost fully status immune. Uh, she's susceptible to silence and blind. Not a big deal for her. She's covered against the, uh, the major, ele uh, the resistances here. Um, she has lots of resistances to lots of elements. Again, I would dial that in specifically for whatever I was killing. And I know a lot of people don't have uh, Magic Sanctuary. That's Cryless Trust Mastery. That's fine. Um, Garnet's got 20% to all elements. Um, you can mix and match how you can. Um, I, I really thought this Trust Mastery would have a lot of longevity, so I pulled for Cryla quite hard, and I got four of her. Um, Cryla is also going to be getting some global exclusive enhancements in August, I believe. 
And if they rerun her on that ticket thing that they reran the uh, the Final Fantasy units on, you know the the, the fan created units, the fan fest units, um, she should be on that as well. And that was a ten percent rainbow five K pull with one of the uh, units in the pool guaranteed. If they run that again, I would definitely pull and try to get you some uh, some Krylas as well. <clears throat> but as you can see here, I've got my uh, enhancements on these weapons. Um, you know, this is, this is a pretty good build. 14k hit points, you got a thousand spirit basically, you got resistances to lots of elements. You know, there's nothing wrong with this Charlotte. And that's kind of what I was saying uh, before about you don't need Super Trust Masteries. You know, this Charlotte right here, she'll, she'll travel well. And like I said, obviously, if we're, if we're going to be dealing with a certain boss, I would I would adjust these to the boss. And then we got the Charlotte that I would build with the Super Trust Masteries that I was talking about. You know, she's got Renoa on for full status immunity now, which opened my shield slot up for uh, the Ramza Trust Mastery, which gives me some re elemental resistances, hit points, defense, and spirit. This is a really good Super Trust Mastery here. Um... I just lucked into getting it. And then we got Nix's dagger on. We got the fill rate um, buff on. And then we got our hit points and our resistances, of course. And as you can see, our hit points went up, or her resistances went up substantially uh, with this build. Um, she didn't lose. Uh, she gained 50, basically 50 spirit with this build. And then she picked up almost 4,000 hit points. You know, you got 14, uh, 14,100. You got 17,7 right here. She almost picked up 4,000 hit points from just gearing like that. So, you know, 3,000 hit points is a pretty big deal. Three, 4,000 hit points, pretty big deal. Again, you know, it's, it's not necessary, but if we're talking about how I would rather see my Charlotte, I would rather have this Charlotte. Um, you could make a case for getting her Super Trust Mastery, which is a shield. Um, I think that's good. I think Charlotte's shield is good. It's specifically good for her. And that's why I think going for Renoa's Super Trust Mastery, because you're getting the status immunity and resistances, you could take Renoa's Super Trust Mastery, so you're not bringing a magic tank, and put it on Siegheart, for example. Um, and you could run him like that. Now he's got status, status immunity and he has some resistances. Then that opens up your helmet slot for other helmets, like the, uh, what is it, the, the Grand Helm Plus or something like that. You know, really good... Um, really good options there um so that's my thoughts on the three super trust masteries that i would go after and originally i wasn't going to buy the bundle because i was like you know 50 bucks for you know one item that's that's kind of extreme um you know then i got thinking about it and i was like you know they're two 50 percent moogles and that's actually helpful to the players um, Gumi's been selling units for $25. Uh, you could get, what was it, Fravia? You could get her for $25. You could buy her four times if you wanted to. They sold uh, Barbarisha for $25. Bucks. You can get four of her if you wanted to. I actually bought one Barbarisha to get her Super Trust Mastery. That's kind of what I do with those bundles. Um, you know, I, would, I wouldn't buy four of the units they sell because they're, they're generally outdated units. They're good for uh, newer players or players that haven't been playing for, you know, a super big long time like uh, like most of us have been. But I treat them as super trust mastery opportunities. And I thought I thought Barb was good and uh, I bought one Jake to get his super trust mastery just in case, you know, you get a Regina or whatever you want to use Jake. I thought having that gun uh, would be good for me, so I got it. And then when the uh, the Super Trust Mastery bundle came about, I thought it was kind of like the same thing, you know, you're getting some lapis you're getting a couple, a couple Moogles. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, and uh, especially with with my kit of units that I have, um, it makes a lot of sense for me. Uh, let's go into that. You know, if you've been watching pull videos, I do. I always say I want Nyx. I want Zargabath. Um, that's because I have I have two Nyx. You know, I've got one at seven, and I've got one at six star here. Um, I'm ready for my fourth one so I can get his super chest mastery and then you know you go on down to the bottom here We've got we basically got three Zargabath. We got one at seven and one waiting right here and then with Renoa uh, I've only got two of her. She's just sitting here at seven. I do have a, a three Wilhelm as well 
I've got one at seven and one waiting. Wilhelm Super Trash Master is really nice. Um, I don't feel like it's better than Zargabath, Nyx, and Renoa though. I think it would be my probably my fourth pick. Um, so those are my thoughts on Super Trust Mastery Moogles. Um, if you've already bought them and used them, say you bought them and you got Elena's Super Trust Mastery, hey, that's fine too, man. Like that that Super Trust Mastery is going to take you. I'm saying that word a lot. That is going to take you uh, really far, you know, into the future with the game, and that's really what you're looking at when you're looking at these items, these particular items. Which one is going to give you a, a long-term effect? And, and that's what I'm saying, like Zarg STMR is never going to not be used on any trial fight you're doing. I mean, it's 30% hit points, defense, and spirit. You always need those three stats on any of your units. Um, your damage dealers, I don't advocate going for STMR on damage dealers. Just because if it takes you a couple more turns, so what? You know, it takes you a couple more turns. No big deal. You're still winning. But if you can't actually tank the boss, you can't even do the damage with your units so you can have like the dopest like damage dealers in the world but you know if your tanks are flat on the ground you ain't doing nothing um if you if you have like my tanks are in good shape right now as is um i could go for damage super trust masteries and it would be okay but i feel like just for the future because you know the boss is going to obviously get more difficult the longer we play the game um it's always going to be paramount to make sure that we can deal with the damage that we have to take first then return the favor to the boss with our damage and you know there's always going to be like better damage units down the line you know we we had esther oh my god esther's awesome then we had uh we had uh, Zeno. Uh, i don't personally care for Zeno. i don't i don't really like how he does damage but if you can if you can get his rotation through he does all the damage in the game like he's he's absolutely insane and then we got elena you know surprise elena there's you a hybrid that does a lot of damage we should be having Bart's here soon. Bart's does a lot of damage. You know, it's, it's kind of what I'm saying. Like you're going to get new damage dealers like literally every month. Uh, we got Lightning coming up this week. Lightning's going to do a lot of damage. Like she's awesome. So you know your damage options are definitely always available for you, um, but your tanking options not so much. You know when was the last time we had you know, aside from Charlotte? When was the last tank we had? It was it was really Seacart. You know, it's been a while since we've had a tank available for us. Um, healers are kind of the same boat, but I feel like if your tanks are doing their job, the healers and your, your mages and your breaker and everything like that, they don't need as much gear as your tanks would if you're building it that way. Uh, and I would like to, uh, I would also like to mention the prisms that we're getting for the anniversary. A lot of people ask me, what should I use on my prisms? Should I get this, this, or this? In my opinion, with prisms, I think you should, if you cannot build a full evade uh, tank, Noctis Trust Mastery is by far the most important use for that prism. Um, his Moogle was for sale. I know the video is kind of late on that. His Moogle was for sale a while back. Um, if you can get, if you can get Noctis's Trust Mastery, it's, it's really important for evade builds. Um, if you've got one, maybe pick up the second one or whatever. That would be the only thing that I would say that you need to use a prism on is Noctis. After that, I really think it kind of opens up quite a bit. I mean, then I think it turns into personal preference. Like, I'm just saving mine. Um, I, I don't know what I want to use mine on yet, so I'm just saving them. Um, I thought about maybe eventually picking up some more of these Chocobo Rain Trust Masteries because it's like... It's some hit point. It's like basically all stats. It's a really good materia. I thought about maybe picking up one or two more of those, uh, depending on how many more prisms we get. You know, they're going to give us more tickets in, in August to pull with. So depending on how many prisms we end up total, uh, you know, I might I might do that or not. You know, it just it just depends on a lot of things. But for those of you out there who you know maybe you have one or two, but you can't fully evade Noctis is definitely definitely first and foremost on the list and like i said just go for whatever feels good after that um <clears throat> and i would like to close out the video too i know we talked a lot about stmr and you know it's more like well stuff uh, i got to thinking the other day you know i i have a lot of inactive friend slots i cleared a lot of them out and when i started doing youtube um i always tried to uh to add people to my friends list that were struggling with a fight i remember when uh when Sinzar did the um was it the Omega weapon trial? You know, he used my olive on a budget build and, you know, won the trial that way. That was a really cool strategy. Uh, I gave my olive to lots of people to help out with that. And I would kind of like to, uh, I would kind of like to do that again. 
Um, so, like I said, we dealt with a lot of the uh, the stronger accounts. Um, if you're watching this and you have like a lower rank account or you're struggling on some trial fights, um, I'd like to help you out. So, um, you know, if you guys are like ranked 275 or whatever, you know, you got all the awesome units in the game. Um, let's get let's get some um, some help out to the people that aren't so fortunate that you know haven't been playing for as long as we have. Um, if you need help with a specific trial and need a specific friend unit built for you, leave me your friend code. Make sure you have an open slot and you don't have a bunch of requests so we can add you up. And uh, and I'll build you, you know, if I can, I'll build you whatever I can to help you beat that fight. Um, because I, I think we've kind of lost sight of uh, of helping out people in that regard, you know, on this channel for a while. And and I regret that because I I know how hard it is to find that friend unit. It's like you need this built right here in order to even make an attempt on this trial. So, like I said, if if you're a lower rank account and you need some help, leave me a, leave me a comment with with the trial that you're struggling on and what friend unit would help you beat that trial. And and I'll try to accommodate you. Uh, we'll try to get as many people through here as possible. And and everybody else that's watching this, if you see one of these guys leaving a comment and and they're trying to beat Omega Weapon and they need whatever unit, help them out too. I mean, help these guys out. Um, it's hard. It's hard coming up in the game to get to an established level and people do need some help there too. So anyways, that's my opinion, uh, on a few things that's, that we're kind of doing right now on global, you know, with the uh, SDMR bundles and whatnot, um, should cover the basis for most people as far as the way I look at it. Uh, again, you know, I, I'm not preaching gospel here. This isn't the only thing that you can do. This isn't the only way you can play the game. This is just what I'm doing. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, we got lightning coming up this week. Uh, that's really cool. I won't be pulling for her uh, unless Sinzar makes another video that makes me laugh. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, don't try to work too hard, and we'll see. We'll see you Friday. Toodaloo.